You are undergoing hypnosis, mind control, brainwashing. I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shinityananda Paramashivam. Yes, guys, let us expose, expose thought currents, hypnosed, uh, what is hypnosis? Mind controlled, brainwashed. Anti-Hindu elements, people, they bring all sorts of idea to make you disconnect from the truth. In this video, I want to share with you guys my cognition, the realization I had about how mind controlled, hypnosis and brainwashing are fraudulent concepts which aim to destroy you. And this is why. Hinduism is all about realizing that you are super consciousness. You relate to Paramashiva, you cherish feeling connection, devotion, seeking, and you realize that you are in oneness with him. And you realize that you are Paramashiva. That is the purpose of Hinduism. Make you realize that you are super consciousness. You are Paramashiva. Shivoham Shivoham Nityanandoham. Yes, a little spontaneous. Um, these guys, anti Hindu elements, forces, bring these fabulous concepts of hypnosis. <laughs> I, keep, I keep repeating myself, <laughs> brainwashed. <laughs> and uh, what's the third one? The, the third fraudulent concept. Mind controlled. Isha Vashyam Idagum Sarvam. Isha Vashya Upanishad, Upanishad. First sloka. Or second sloka. Yeah, first sloka. Yeah, because the intro sloka doesn't count as sloka. The first sloka says consciousness is everywhere. Consciousness is all pervasive. Consciousness, consciousness is all powerful. Everything exists within consciousness. When you are under hypnosis, you are under the effect of something outside of you. When you are mind controlled, you are under a spell or an effect of something outside of you. When you are brainwashed, you are affected by something outside of you. If you believe in any of these three, you automatically believe that there is something outside of you which can have power over you which is false. If you believe any of these three concepts, you are against Hinduism. Because Hinduism is all about making you realize you are consciousness. There is nothing beyond consciousness. Nothing can have power over consciousness. Consciousness is all powerful, all pervading. When you are under hypnosis, you cannot be under hypnosis if you cognize yourself as consciousness. Only if you cognize yourself as body and mind and separate from something outside of you, you can decide to experience hypnosis. Same, same goes for mind control and brainwashed. There's nothing outside of you. Whether we understand it, realize it or not, we have to seek towards that. But at, you should never at any point of your journey in seeking towards realizing that you are consciousness, Forget that you are not consciousness. If you decide to say, I am brainwashed, you're deciding, you're saying, I am not consciousness. That's what you're saying. Because consciousness cannot be brainwashed. If you believe you're brainwashed, you will never be able to experience your consciousness. You will always be powerless because you will always feel there is something outside of you and that thing outside of you can have power over you. So all these concepts, you know, they have psychologists and all that stuff. They have amazing explanations to justify how these concepts are real, but they're not. It is concepts which are born out of an incomplete mind, which does not have any form of understanding or initiation into the higher truth and the reality. And Hinduism is all about experiencing consciousness, whether it is the path of bhaktas or jnanis, 
or yogis or siddhas all paths it is for you to realize your consciousness so anybody who comes in front of you and says something brainwashed something mind controlled something hypnosis they are trying to cheat you they are trying to make you believe you are not consciousness you have to this if you are interested in experiencing your consciousness you have to discard them from your life what they're, the, the concepts they're bringing, the thought currents they're bringing forward are anti-Hindu concepts meant to destroy you and to keep you in a space of powerlessness so that they keep having power over you. When you are powerful, when you realize, the more and more you realize you are consciousness, you never feel powerless. So that's a very important thing. I had this click recently and I was like, I have to share and Hindus have to stand when people are claiming these the shlapatas, like, <laughs> like I mentioned in some other video, I don't know which video is going to come first because I'm recording a bunch right now. But uh, these shlapatas, they talk, 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 all kind of nonsense they talk. And the problem is nobody says anything. They just keep talking. Yeah, and the Hindus and people, they just keep quiet. Hey, this person is talking nonsense. And they're destroying Hinduism. Whether they talk or not, we have to talk also. We have to share. We have to expose this nonsense. We have to do something. We have to be active. Enrich. Share. Educate. So that's what I wanted to share with you in this video. If you see anybody who comes with the concept of hypnosis, brainwashing, mind control, they are against your consciousness. They don't care about you realizing your consciousness. They want you to realize something else. I mean, you don't need to realize anything else. You already know. We are already stuck in the mind and already stuck in the body to attach to these two components of our existence. Swamji says you are body also. Means you are body, but much more than that. But body is included, but that's not it. There is much more. So write your comments below, your opinions, your ideas. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, like, subscribe, and Shiv Bolenat Mahakal, Om Nityananda Param Shiv, Om Nityananda. I welcome you all with my love and respect. Let you all open all your three eyes. Om Nityananda.